The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to Mary, the angel said, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. But Mary was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month of her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart, and that people listen with their hearts, with the Holy Spirit in their hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Sisters and brothers, happy to see you. Every Sunday, I see you here, and there are all kinds of people. Every Sunday, there are many classes of people dito sa simbahan. Mayroon dito mga old, matatanda. Kawai naman kung naaluded ka. Ayan. Nandito yung mga bata. Ayan. Nandito mga, wow, mayayaman. O wave naman dyan. O, ha, wala nag-wave. <laughs> Nandito yung mga mahihirap. Nandito yung mga magaganda. Wow. Oh, yun, nag-wave lahat. <laughs> yung mga, nandito rin mga medyo may kagandahan. Nandito rin yung mga bossing, office workers. Mayroon din dito yung mga simple workers. So, different classes of people. Alam po ninyo, on the night, the Titanic the big ship ship that time, on the night it sank, there were different classes of people. There were old people, young people, rich people, poor people in the church. There were big bosses, there were simple workers below deck. But a few hours after it sank, in the Cunard office in New York, dadalawa na lang ang kategorya. Of all the passengers, dalawa lang po. The first category is lost. Mga nawala. And the second category is saved. Mga nasagip. So it will be also Sa buhay natin. Right now, 
iba-ibang klase ng tao. But in the end, there will be only two categories. Either you're the lost or you were saved. Mga kapatid, which one would you like to be? I want to be saved. Please bow your head now and just tell the Lord, Lord, sana po, when the time comes, please make me one of those saved so that I can go to heaven. That's all that matters. Mama Mary, we're asking you this. As I often ask Mama Mary, Mama Mary, make exception for me, Mama. Sana po, hilain niyo ako makarating sa langit. Make exception. I know, mahira po, but you are my mother. So Mama Mary, yun pong isang hinihingi namin ngayon. Help us to be saved. But dear brothers and sisters, you too have to help yourself. And how can you be saved? Well, you and I cannot save ourselves. We need God. We need God. Pakicheck po nyo ngayon, simple questions. The first question is, do you have God in your life? Ask yourself now, si Lord ba talaga nasa puso mo? If you can say yes, wow, we have a big possibility to be saved. Check. Yes, Lord. Please help us. May mga tao po kasi, ah, hindi ko kailangan ng Diyos. May pera ako, wala akong pakialam. Wala sa intelligence ko, I cannot accept a God. Well, that's their choice. But for us, we say again, and may I ask you again to bow your head and say, God, I'm happy you are in my life. Thank you for the faith. I'm happy, Lord, we have you in our family. Salamat po. And today, I declare again, as for me and for my house, we will serve the Lord. Salamat po, Lord. We need you. We need someone greater than ourselves. Ang problema po ng iba, sila ang feeling God. Walang Diyos. Ako ang Diyos. Wow. Kapatid, humility, humility. Yes, I want to have God in my life. Second question. Do you live for God? Mga iba po sa atin, we live for ourselves. Ano ba yun yung, yung gumigising ka tuwing umaga? Para saan ka gumigising? Ikigay. In other words, do you live for God means, do you have a mission for God? Baka naman ang buhay mo, it's all about you. Making money, making a name, enjoying life. Today, please tell the Lord, Lord, I want to live my life for you and with you. Because if you are not in my life, I'm just living a great, enjoying life for myself. I, me, myself. Lord, I have a mission for you. I am your servant, Lord. You are my master. Number three, do you work for God? In other words, mga kapatid, do you report for duty? Lord, reporting for duty. We have 
a responsibility. Service, giving, sharing. That's what the Lord wants us all to do. Sisters and brothers, life is not about vacation. It's a vocation, a calling. And it's not all about having a good time. Basta may have a good time, bahala na kayo lahat yan. That kind of mentality will not bring you closer to God. And finally, question. Do you love God? Pakisabi mo nga kay Lord, Lord, mahal ko po kayo. Paminsan-minsan, ganun ba yun? Remember what God tell, told us, love Him with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength. That's what He requires all of us. Love Him to the max. Baka naman po, kung magbigay tayo kay Lord, katiting, katiting, paminsan-minsan, dagdagan, dagdagan. Sisters and brothers, your time, check ba? Are you giving your time to God? How much time do we give to God? Kung talagang mahal mo si Lord, close kayo. Close your. Close kayo. Are you sure? Time. Talents. Are you giving back to God? Payback time. My talents I use for other people, for God's people. And treasure. Whatever treasures you have, at the service of our loving God. So today, mga kapatid, bow your head and answer the question, do you have God in your life, in your family? Second question, are you living for God? Are you doing a mission for him. Number three, are you working for God? And lastly, do you love God? Lord, we fail. Thank you for understanding us. We will try. We'll keep on trying. Mga kapatid, nakakita ba kayo ng mga halaman? Ang daming leaves, full of leaves, but no fruits. Ang dami kang mga dahon, mabulaklak ka, pero walang fruits. I remember one time when we were growing up, grapes. Wow, ang saya namin. The grapes were crawling all over the mission house. We were not pruning it kasi we wanted decoration lang eh. Ang ganda. Pero walang fruit. There are many people who have so much leaves, so much adornment, pero walang fruit at walang sineshare na fruits. In other words, it's all for decoration. Sanang buhay natin, magarbo ka, ang ganda, madekorasyon ka, pero wala ka naman palang mga natutulungan na babahaginan. You're not sharing your fruits. Oh, by the way, some very rich and people, they share their fruit after they leave this world. Rotten fruit. Yung bumagsak na lang na nabulok, yan ang iniiwan sa mundong ito. Sisters and brothers, it pains me to see how many people are suffering just because of a few people 
who abused Mother Nature for their business, kawawa ang lahat. Sila lang ang yumaman, sinira nila ang kalikasan. Selfishness and greed. It pains me too. So many people are suffering because a few government officials and government workers are getting their money. They have mastered the art of stealing in the name of public service. Kuminsan po, nakakadismaya. Wow, Lord, bakit po ganun? Kawawa na yung mga tao, ninanakawan pa. Today, let us remember this. God does not sleep. There is divine justice. Do not be dismayed when you see people who seem to prosper by evil ways. Be strong. God will deal with them in His own way, in His own time, if they cannot be dealt with even in this life already. So mga kapatid, please, you want to be saved, you report to your God, you help the people of God, do good, avoid evil. So where will you be, where will I be at the end of our lives? Nasa listahan ka ba ng saved, nasa gip, o nasa listahan ka ng nawala, lost? By God's grace and with your help, with your cooperation, let's all pray that we will be saved. Sisters and brothers, today let us thank God again for His many blessings. Specialize in giving, mga kapatid. Give. Continue to give. Give till it hurts. Give joyfully and give quietly. Today, I want to thank God for yesterday we had a walk with God to Manawak. At 13 kilometers from Urdaneta to the shrine, 5, p 5 a.m. start, 9 a.m. mass. Hindi ko na ho nakayanan yung 13 kilometers. Mga bandang 6, 7 na lang po. Seven, 70 years old na po tayo. But what's important is giving. Keep giving. Beyond the extra mile giving the extra smile. And by the way po, if I may report to you, my birthday last October 1 was all about giving. Thanksgiving Mass, 5 a.m., 5 p.m. And then, I thank the donors who were giving for the help of our missionaries who bought the tickets and all that. Salamat po. I thank the personalities who were giving their time and their talents to raise the funds. Uh, Joe Marie Chan and Celeste Legaspi, Marco Sison, Michael Angelo Lobrin, Maha Salvador, wow, Maestro Robert Schroeder, and others giving it all, giving time, talents, and treasures. And the napakaganda po nangyari nung raffle, ang nanalo po ng raffle, ay si Ma'am Annie Lukban. 82 years old. When she claimed her prize, alam mo ba yung prize? Free trip to the Holy Land. Wow! Aba, sabi ni Ma'am Annie, uh, pwede po ba i-donate ko na lang ito sa mga pare na nandito? Ay di, masaya mga pare. Eh, may pag-asa. Bunutan ulit mga pare. Ang nanalo po, nakabunot, si Father J.M. Berme, SVD, newly ordained priest. Father, tumayo ka naman, Father. Akalain nyo, holy land. But you know what? 
you can double your clapping because Father said, Pwede po ba? I want to give this Holy Land trip to Father Joseph Panabang who is already retired after 38 years in Ghana, Africa. Binigay niya kay Father Joseph. Thank you. Salamat po. See, giving is a beautiful thing. And today, mga kapatid, we are so happy that you are here as we give a missionary. We say goodbye, our gift to the world, for a young missionary, Father Joseph Bagakai, SVD, who is here now, going to Paraguay tonight. Thank you, Poor Father. <laughs> Parang high school. Bukang high school. Magmi-mission na sa Paraguay. This is what the Lord is telling us all. So maraming salamat po, sisters and brothers. Please don't forget. We will be judged according to our giving or taking. Siguro po magandang alalahanin natin ang motto ng mga buksingero. Alam niyo yung motto nila? It is better to give than to receive. Mga kapatid, sana po tayong lahat. Give na give. Because God has been so giving to all of you. Payback time. Doesn't matter the amount but the quality of giving. Just give. Amen, Lord. Amen. And may I ask a simple prayer today. We pray for world peace. Sana po yung conflict sa Israel will not escalate to something bigger na naman. Believe, trust, and surrender.